Hello everyone, we are Art of War. And we believe in creating a community where people can talk about, learn, and improve their skills at Warhammer 40k. Our channel has live stream competitive matches of 40k, played by the best players in the world. And we focus on teaching you how to get better at Warhammer, while also emphasizing sportsmanship and engagement with our audience. We strive to play every faction in the game to a top level, while also using a variety of lists to show off different play styles for every faction. We also offer a variety of other videos such as codex reviews, faction rankings, and tactics videos. When you join our channel, you become part of our community, where we emphasize learning and positive conversation about competitive 40k. You get early access to our videos, sub badges, emotes, as well as rewatch those hangout and hobby sessions. Joining our community is a great way for you to show your support for us so we can keep making awesome videos for you and continuously expand the bounds of competitive 40k. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Art of War stream game. I am Richard Siegler, Lord of the Forge World. This is oh, Mr. Jack Harpster. Watchmaster. The Watchmaster yeah, today. Yeah. He is bringing the Death Watch. This is the debut of the Death Watch on the channel. That's right. Beautifully painted up by John Lennon. Yep. Very recently painted up. Very recently. Hot this off, morning. Hot off the table. That's right. And so, uh, really excited to get this army on the table. Yep. Um, Death Watch has been an army which we haven't seen shaking too much waves in the competitive no, scene. No, but hopefully but, that's going to change. But Jack is in fact taking this very list to ACO, the Atlantic City Open, in the coming weeks. and. Uh, so this is pre-points changes that yep. are coming out, uh, but we figure, you know, I have experience with the list, get some practice with it, Definitely. put it on the table. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the list? Yeah. All right, so Death Watch does some cool stuff. First off, I have <laughs> all do they. So kill teams are the cool part. You can have bikes that become infantry when you have Vanguard veterans with them. So they can go right through walls and Kool-Aid man all day. Uh, that's fun. They shoot pretty good. They have plus one attack apiece. Uh, I have Death Watch veterans with shotguns. Their shotguns are dope. They're either a flamer, or they can be strength four, AP one, two damage, or they can be strength five, longer range. So they they just do a lot of damage, profiles and they're there. free. I like free stuff. Free is great. Free is great. And then I have a bunch of auras that make all my dreads do a ton of damage. Tome of Ectoclades for reroll wounds. I have plus one to hit fly, which doesn't matter in this game, but in Dark Elder Land, it matters a lot. Uh, and then I have a uh, shield, an invuln aura. Just yep, gives five, five up invulns to all my stuff. Just yep. just have it. Just go for it. Super powerful. And is that on a unit per basis or a model per basis? It's unit. Unit. So yeah. very easy to stay within core range of that. Core and characters and all this stuff's core. And then the characters that you have there. Characters, I got a captain with the shield that has a six inch aura of five up uh, five up invulns. Very good. Uh, I also have warlord trait for ignore cover on a target unit. I have a warlord trait to put something back into devastator doctrine. If you're in tactical, it's the dark angels chapter trait, which you can take in Death Brilliant Watch. Brilliant strategist. Brilliant strategist, yes. Paragon of the chapter. Uh, oh, yeah, there's so many rules in this. <laughs> uh, Vorcon Power Auspicator for plus one to hit fly. Tome of Ectoclades for a uh, reroll to wound or against a data sheet. So, Raider, for right. example. <laughs> you just pick Raider and it's a six inch aura of reroll wounds reroll against wounds Raider. Reroll is one of the best rules you can possibly it's have. It's so good. Getting it to pick whatever just, data sheet you want. Just flat rerolls. Yeah. Like, punishes your opponent for taking the same data sheet multiple absolutely, times. Absolutely, which Dark Eldar just love to do. They love it. And you can also target big things. Like, I can say I reroll wounds against all your Mortarians, and then their Mortarian that they took is yeah. dead. <laughs> he gone. He gone. So, uh, on the other hand, I am running uh, the new Admech book. I am playing uh, a Mars Outrider allied to a, a Lucius Battalion. So, I'm taking that durable board control and throwing the Mars shooting in the same list. So, with the Lucius Battalion, I've got a manipula two Manipulus in there. One is Lagi, uh, Holy Order, and the other one is Artisans. And then I have a uh, wonderful Skatari Marshal in there. Okay. Three uh, units of uh, 20 Rangers. And these Rangers all have the Omni Specs to ignore cover and those sweet Galvanic Rifles. They're terrifying. I'm deployed behind a wall. I don't want to get <laughs> shot by Galvanic Rifles. Y you do, you do. Oh. Five Rust Stalkers to help me play the mission. A little bit of counter assault when needed. And then I also have uh, 10 Taraxi Sterilizers with the Flamers 
And uh, the plus three inch range is actually really nice on them, really good. Them 15 inch range. So a little more reliable coming out of deep strike, forcing extra screening from the opponent, yep. which, which I really like. You can't infiltrate them off the, like you can't screen them out, it's 15 no, inch range. There's nothing you can do about it. They're just they're there and then they shoot you. They're showing up. Yeah. And then I have a Mars Outrider that has the other Skatari Marshal. And he's going to be trying to buff these Iron Strider units. So I have two three-man Iron Strider units and one two-man, all with the Twin Cogmas LAS cannons. Terrifying. And then I have uh, three units of Severus Raiders, a nine-man, the full nine. One is eight, and then the last one is just a, a minimum full three. dog and pony show going on. Exactly. Yeah. All the potential for mortals with Wrath of Mars, uh, it's going to be glorious. So really excited to play this Mars list and try the combination. I did Mars last week against the Death Guard, and then I did pure Lucius against the Drakari. I did against I'm, Death Guard. They did really well. They did really good. Real well. Real they well. They killed those while we stand, no problem. <laughs> so I think uh, mixing the two concepts is uh, quite powerful, so that's what I want to test out today against these really durable Death Watch that also shoot quite a bit. Yeah, we're not we're not quite as durable as Death Guard, but uh, we can shoot back. So before we get into um, you know the mission itself and our deployments, let's talk about our sponsors. First up, we have Warp Fire Minis, a wonderful store in Ocala, Florida. They have a brilliant trade-in program where you can take all your old minis, wh whether it's new in box, on sprue, or just just poorly painted, even regular, normally painted. Go ahead and trade them in. You get 50% in uh, off on a new inbox Games Workshop product. And uh, in addition, they are stocking the entire Games Workshop line. As soon as Games Workshop puts stuff back in stock, they order it up and uh, make it available, and then they ship the next day as well. So if you need stuff really quickly for a tournament coming up, check out Warfire Minis. All right, our next sponsor up is Big Bear 3D. If you like any of the terrain you see on the board, it's all from Big Bear 3D. Yep. Uh, they. You see a lot in tournaments, you can see either nice terrain or functional terrain. Uh, and then Big Bear 3D likes to combine the two. You get, you get nice looking terrain that also works for tournaments, that doesn't have weird line of sight blocking everywhere on the board. Uh, they also make custom kits for each of our coaches. So there's a John kit, there's a Richard kit, there's just, everyone has a this kit. Is Nick Nanavati, this is the uh, Nick This is the Nick Nanavati table. table. Uh, so if you like any of the sets, you can just, boom, package deal, just buy it all up. Yep, you can get it full, um, you know, fully built and painted if you wanted to, or make it your own hobby project. Yeah. Next up, we have uh, Golden Globe Gaming, which is our wonderful paint sponsor. They are responsible for the beautiful Jukari army that you've seen over the stream in the past couple weeks. They're working on a lot of new models for us, so we hopefully are going to have even more of that Jukari army very soon to show off on stream. Uh, especially with uh, points changes, Drukhari lists are definitely going to be changing. I uh, don't expect to see too many Dark Technomancer racks you after might, this. You, you might. might. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, no. Certainly not with Liquid Fires. <laughs> but uh, in addition to that, they uh, are, have a really quick uh, turnaround time, and they do really high quality painting, paint jobs on your minis. They're, they can do all sorts of 40K stuff, Age of Sigmar, whatever you're looking to get painted. So check them out. Absolutely. Our next sponsor is Table War, home of the OG Fat Mat. They mm -hmm. make these nice neoprene mats that we have on stream. They feel very nice to use. They're nice grippy on your models. Uh, they go for a wide range of terrain types to match with your Big Bear 3D terrain. This one is, what is this one, the Mars one? This is the Mars this pattern. Is the Mars this is the pattern. legendary Mars table. Legendary Mars table. And since they are neoprene mats, they are Nick proof. And if they're Nick proof, they're, your, they're you proof. They're you proof. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if they pass the Nick test, you know they're good. That's the drop test, but for mats. But if you don't want to get the new uh, mat size, which Table War has in stock, you can head over to 3D6 Wargaming, where they create the wonderful battle border that brings the table size down to the 9th edition, um, 60 by 44. You can get your own logos on there. You can get it customized with rules, uh, whatever you want to put on there. And they also have the awesome neoprene objective mats that we use on stream. Make sure there's no mystery when pre-measuring to objectives, when you're on it, when you're not and um, you can also get those customized as well. Or you can check out um, our merch store on theartofwar40k.com, and we are selling some, including uh, a couple exclusive mats. Oh. Yep. Dang. Gold Samurai. Gold Samurai? Yep. Or Nick with the Sisters Bob. Yeah, or the Gold Samurai. <laughs> or the Gold Samurai. <laughs> or the Gold Samurai. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, we have uh, Obey Alliance, which is a major esports team, trying to check the viability of 40k as an esport. Um, they're looking to put a lot of money into various games, tabletop games, card games, RPGs. And so if you want to check out all the wonderful stuff that they're doing in the esports realm, you can head over to Twitter and check out Meta Initiative. All right. All right, let's go over these deployments. And let me grab the gimbal real quick. So we'll See those Taraxi waiting in the, waiting in the wings over there? You know they're in reserve, Jack. Yeah, they're just on my mind. You know, <laughs> they occupy... So, Red free. Starting with my deployment, we have eight Severus Raiders and then nine Severus Raiders ready to pregame move either behind this ruin if I go second or up into the middle of the table potentially. The Maybe full get dog and pony show. 
And then I have uh, five Rust Stalkers back here. Like we said, the Terexi are sitting in reserve, ready to come down, and then probably come back up, right, Jack? <sighs> like over that. and over and over again. We've got the two three-man Iron Strider units, and then the two-man, ready to pop out and go to either side when needed. Then I have uh, three units of Rangers, along with the characters in the middle there. And then finally, three Severus Raiders are ready to push up this way if I go first and just be annoying for Jack. They're looking to sacrifice their body for the Omnissiah. Yep. Oh, on the other side of things. We have a lot of very scared men in power armor. Uh, afraid. Yeah, we got afraid. five dreadnoughts. We got the two really shooty ones, the two Volkite Contemptors right here ready to pop their heads out. This guy at some point is going to touch the wall and just be able to start seeing the whole board. Mm -hmm. These guys over here are going to try and make a push up the side and start to see, maybe force his last cannons out, start trades, that sort of thing. We got a bunch, we got a whole lot of bikes that are infantry because they're paired with the guys that can go Kool-Aid man right through the wall. They're ready to go out and start pushing on objectives, start charging Richard's stuff. And then over here, also hidden, we got the incursors deployed on an objective because uh, if you control the objective at the start of the battle round, or at the start of your command phase, it counts as controlled forever, so they can just go back up into reserve. And this is vital sort of stuff. intelligence. This is vital intelligence. Then we have three shotgun squads with a shield in each squad, ready to just start cycling onto these objectives, start, uh, start the trade chain going. All right. Your Taraxi can't kill all of them. Probably not, but they can be annoying. Yes, they can. <laughs> All right, so Jack, tell us what secondaries you picked on this vital intelligence. All right, we well, this is going to sound very familiar in a second, but I picked stranglehold, so that's hold three, and that is the hold new more than your of, opponent. Yep, it domination. Is. We, I picked rod, retrieve Octarius data, which is basically scramblers, but for table quarters, and uh, data intercept, which is you do an action on any objective. Spoiler alert, it's going to be my home objective <laughs> most of the time. You don't want, you don't want to manage. <laughs> you don't want to mess it up, is. that's right. And then you, uh, at the start of your command phase, you get points equal to the number of objectives you control. Why? What are your secondaries, Richard? So it turns out turns that out. I picked some very similar ones. I also picked Stranglehold. Interesting. Because honestly, in this, in how we've deployed here and how we set up the mission, two objectives are out in the open, so it's very easy to just shoot your opponent off one of those exactly. and thus hold three um, if your models are on them. So I went with Stranglehold. I also went with Retrieve Octarius data. I have both the Taraxi and the Rust Stalkers uh, to do that when needed. And then I went for Data Intercept as well, because honestly, you should be able to get two points a turn, no problem. Yeah, just do yeah. the way the terrain is. So that's a nice, safe secondary, whereas both of our lists don't really give up too much easy kill secondaries. No, they've been designed around that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. All right. All right. Well, do you want to start, uh, start the roll off? Let's do it. All Here right, Richard. I'm using the big dice for the big numbers. Good luck. Have fun, Jack. Good luck. Don't have any fun, though. We got a six. That, came, that die came out of oh, nowhere. Oh, so the Admech are going to go first in this one. All right, hit me up. So uh, did you want to go first or second? I think we're both pretty defensively deployed. We're both so pretty you defensive. To if you want to toss two squads of Laz chickens way out on the flank ready to get shot in return just to pick off like a Dreadnought, I'm totally okay I with it. I might kill a Dreadnought. I might not. It's only You, a you may not. I have five up invulns. Like, it's pretty safe. I feel like I deployed pretty safely. You deployed pretty safely because all your stuff can move. So Exactly. This is not where it is right now. So we're going to start with some command phase uh, the things. commander phase. So for the canticle, I... Would Jack like has easy ways to... Go up to, to six? I do go up to six command points. So Jack has a lot of easy ways to ignore um, my abilities. So I'm going to go with the advanced one. So I'm not really going to be shooting this one. Uh, I this have time. to also pick my doctrine. That is true. I'm going to pick tactical doctrine. Tactical. Tactical. Okay. I want to save my because Death Watch get to pick when they, they do their doctrines. They do. They I don't them. start in Devastator automatically. I get to pick which, every turn. So I'm going to do Invocation of, the, of Machine Vengeance, which when the canticle is active, each time I roll an advance roll or charge roll, I roll an additional d6 and discard the lowest. Somebody is deciding not to shoot me this turn. Yeah, because you're pretty well hidden. Yep. So honestly, this is just about getting the units up the board. I mean, if I this is how turn one is, I think I'd rather go second, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. That's, which is fair. Because um, all this stuff that's out in the open that looks like it's going to be shot, not going to be there. What do you got for us, Charlie? Oh, I just wanted to give a quick shout out before we got into movement today. We have a five pound super chat from King Hef. He's always. Good to us. He says, here to see the new Kings of the Meta smash up some Marines. Hey, whoa! 
Whoa, King Hef, come on, come on. I thought I thought we were better than that. Thank you so much, King Hef. Very much appreciate your support, as Very always. much don't appreciate it's that. It's legendary. It's okay. not appreciated. King Hef is a longtime viewer of the channel. Okay. Looks like we're gonna need a Jack Salt emo. <laughs> <laughs> it's replacing the Nick Salt. No, it's definitely not replacing the Nick Salt. So for the buffs, I'm gonna go ahead and stack them all on this unit here. So I'm gonna put, uh, they're gonna count as in cover. Mm -hmm. They're gonna ignore AP one and two. They're going to ignore uh, Blisk skill and hit modifiers. And uh, for good measure, they're also going to get uh, Transhuman from the Lucius Warlord trade. Yep, sounds like one squad is going to move out and touch as many objectives as they can. And then and just make a pain of themselves. Uh, I think that should be it. So we're just going to go ahead and do our pregame moves, which a lot of stuff pregame moves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. So I think I want to, because this is Jack's easy way to get retrieve Octarius data, I could go try and tie up these guys right here. Or I could pregame move on this objective, which is actually very powerful on this mission, because I hold, I'll hold it at the end of my, uh, at the end of my, uh, my command phase, and then I will get to control it. Sounds good. Uh, so Jack will have to throw something on there just to take me off. Yep, and then nobody counts as controlling it. Exactly. It'll just go back and forth. Yep. Yeah, I know how you do. You know how I be. I know how you be. <laughs> All right. And then the horses up here, they're also going to do a similar thing, just have this controlled starting in my turn one. This mission, honestly, is very powerful going first, um, just because of how that mission uh, rule works, of holding the objective in your command phase and getting to control it even if you're not on it anymore. So I can just go ahead, touch this. And then you just in leave. The yep, and then just leave. Yeah. So I'm not honestly going to do Not too much I can do about that, but hey. Hopefully your ponies are still out in the open in my turn. I don't think so. They're right. going to hold this at the end of the command phase, move it advance. And then they are going to leave. <laughs> they're, <laughs> and they're not, they're not interested in turn. sticking around and finding out what five dreadnoughts do. <laughs> not today. Uh, these rangers are, though. They're going to move up three inches. Are those the rangers that count as in cover, have yep. plus one to their save, uh, ignore AP minus one and minus two? They've are they in... all the big buffs. All the and big And they got plus six inch range extra AP from the Manipulus. Cool. Just how you like What them. cool guys, just cool dudes running around doing cool stuff. All right. So, they have a six that? up invul at that point, this point, right? Just a six up invul. Got it, got it, got it. There are, aren't ways to buff the invul. There are not. There are not. Not, okay. Nope. And then the other units are just going to shuffle up behind. So, start a little pregame move, but honestly, they're going to do their full move to get in there, just shuffle them a little bit. And once again, because Jack's so safely tucked, I'd really only be able to shoot one Dreadnought, and I don't want to put my offensive buffs to do that, so I'm not even picking a Doctrine now. Yeah, you would have to send them way out along the side in order exactly. to shoot and me. Exactly, then... far too risky. I'm already going to be set up nicely on the mission and force Jack to come out and touch multiple objectives to take me off. I don't want to do any of that. You do, you do. All right, so that's all good. Oops, these guys need to be over here. Friends. I'd just rather not, you know? Okay, so uh, we'll go into uh, movement phase now, and they are going to come up and touch this objective. Okie dokie. I could honestly just not even bother with that, uh, but Jack can just send those bikes through the, through the wall. Heck yeah, I can. He's almost certainly going to get a stranglehold, so let's see, is it even worth doing it? You move 14 minimum, right? Move 14, and then I can white so scars myself. Minimum advance, you get up there, no problem. But I think... It's worth it to get Jack to force, send shooting out to deal with this. Actual shooting, which is his dreadnoughts. So I am going to go ahead and touch the objective with them. With as many models as I can, which is just... Looks like two. Three. This guy, nope. Two guys. Okay. They're going to come on up. And they have plus three inch range, plus six inch range. So if I moved a different unit, I could shoot that way. I think only a couple of them can shoot. Well, there's, yeah, I think like, yeah. yeah. Anybody at this angle can shoot that way. Yeah, I think it's gonna be like five, something so. like that. I'll just put a couple more guys at that angle, but not really expecting to do actual damage there. Hey, Siegs, while you're moving, those three raiders on your right there, were they outside of your deployment zone in the beginning? Nope, they started back here. Okay, that was a uh, problem with me drawing lines then. Yeah, I so it was, 20, <laughs> it was 20 off of here. And so they got to move a pregame 12-inch yep. move there. Yeah, that's my fault, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's the difference between priority targets and vital intelligence. Priority targets has that particular flank scooched to the halfway mark, 
whereas uh, vital intelligence, you get an extra about 10 or so inches. All right, we'll go ahead and start popping these guys into the ruin. Once again, they're not going to touch here. They're just going to be right next to it. So next turn, they can do a very similar thing. Hmm. And get out on just looking to keep cycling units until I just yeah, either be, don't deal with them or run out of ways to deal with Because of all the buffs that you can stack on these ranger units, it really forces your opponent to have to genuinely commit quite a few resources to pick one up. And I would like Jack to have to commit his shooting, so I get a really nice next turn with my shooting. I would like it if that did not happen. <laughs> just if I, if I get to have an opinion here. <laughs> I don't know. I might allow you to have a semblance of an opinion. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank semblance. you. Semblance. You're such a nice guy. <laughs> so we'll just shuffle up the characters, and then once again, we're just going to leave the Iron Striders at a really nice angle where uh, Jack won't be able to shoot at them. Turn just one. the nicest angle. Okay. These just guys are ready retrieve, to start peeking out. Retrieve Octarius data for me in this quarter. Okie doke. And now for the Severus Raiders, they're going to just get out of there. Just, I'm going to go ahead and control these. So if you want to just take out some objective markers for us, and we'll show what's being controlled. You want to be green or red? I'll be, I'll be red. That's cool. I think the green ones fit the Death Watch theme. So I'm just going to be at an angle here where you would have to be all the way up here to shoot at them, which is not going to be a Dreadnought, and that's all I care about. And they're going to go ahead and advance this other squad too, but I get to roll two for Mechanical. Moving 16 inches, they're going to just get out of there. Just hiding all your horses. Yep, because they are actually damage dealers with Mars. And I don't want to lose them for no reason. Yeah, they're not they're 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 no joke. That's a fact. Alright, so the horses are safe over there. That unit is going to do it. Move fifteen inches. That unit's gonna just run away. Yep. Run away like the little coward babies that they are. Just gonna hide behind this. Cool. Can you hide all three? Uh maybe not. Okay. But it's dense cover, so minus one. Yeah. I could actually put them back here. And even though I wouldn't shoot you off. Uh, I can just get a couple shots on you because they're probably dead regardless. I might as well just be annoying. Yeah, if they're over there, I think they're still super dead. Yeah, so let me just make sure. In that case, I'll just move them normally and put them right here. Okay. All right. And they'll Sounds just be good. able to shoot at that one dude. Alrighty. Okay. They'll almost certainly get picked up by the infantry guys, but that's okay. They were going to get picked up by something hanging out back here that isn't going to get shot. And, exactly. Yeah. All right, so we'll go into uh, shooting. They sacrifice their bodies for the Omnissiah. <laughs> for the Omnissiah. Uh, those, we'll start with those three guys over there. Sure thing. So the sergeant, he misses. And then the two guys. Three, two hits. One mortal and two saves. AP. AP one. All right, we're just take a mortal. Yep, you just take a mortal. And mm. then uh, the rangers over here. There's like five guys that could shoot this way. Yep. Yep. So those guys are going to shoot. AP mi uh, minus one to hit. Yep. All right. Oh, uh, no, they're ignoring uh, pet hit penalties. Oh. Right into the techno -water. Is there a, just asking for a friend, is there a buff that you don't have right now? No. Like in the game? No, it's just all, all on there. E everything in the game. Uh, fives? Yep. Nothing special. Two AP minus. Two because of uh, the All right, buff. five ups, one wound. Yep. Just Once again, take, not trying to actually do damage there. I'm just going to take that on the dingus over here. Okie doke. So I think that is going to be all good for me. I'll get my, my stranglehold point, and then I will get... Uh, I did my first retrieve Octarius data, and uh, data intercept is being done by one of the characters over there. All right, well, that was relatively tame. Let's see how your turn two goes. So you are going to gain a command point and go That's up to That's right, seven. I get a commanding point. And you have command phase stuff. Bink. Bink. Yes, I have a lot of command phase stuff, actually. We are going to, let me see, what do I want to shoot you with? So they're going to get picked up by a bunch of infantry. They need to get shot, shot by something. That's all we got. So we're going to get plus one to hit to Mr. Dreadnought right here. Okay. From my tech. With the Crimson Fist? With the Crimson Fist. That is correct. He's got the little red fist on his shoulder pad. That's how you know. Um... What, how fast do these these chicky chicks move? They move ten normally, and I, but I have one strat that's that'll, so fast. The, yep, that is fast. And then I have a strat that lets them flat advance six. It also turns their heavy weapon into assault weapon, and they don't take the penalty for uh, advancing and firing assault weapons. I phased out partway through that. I just assume I get blown off the table. It's called three amazing rules in one one CP strat. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I. That's okay. What that is. Thanks for explaining. <laughs> 
All right. What well, are you thinking here? Sending I think the bikes we're going to turn this squad of bikes into white scars for the uh, evening. Two CP? Two CP, yes. Okay. Oh, um, pre-game, by the way, I'm going to pick reroll ones to wound army-wide against troops. Okay. So All those right. are going to be my uh, three units right there. Yep. I could pick fast attack. Which would be one, two, three, and then these guys, the Iron Striders. Yeah. And the Taraxi. You know what? On second thought, we're picking fast attack. I have attack. quite a few fast You have attacks. a lot of fast attacks. Yeah. So army-wide, reroll ones to wound against fast attack. So they are going to advance. Mm -hmm. Two. Two, solid. They lose the ability to auto-advance six inches when they contain a, uh, a Vanguard veteran. And these, are just a five, these are four bikes and one Vanguard vet coming up. That is correct. Think you're going to do some melee damage here? That's the hope. Would have liked to roll something more than a two, but on balance, I can't yeah, really complain that much. much. What is that, a four inch charge? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a four. Less than five. Yeah, yep. less than five. So no problem there. I'm obsec right now, so we're just we can just take that objective away from you just like that. Um, the bikes are obsec. It's balanced, I guess. I don't know. So at the end of your movement, I'll just take that away. Yep. Looking to maybe take away both of these objectives if I can string out because I'm obsec and Richard is not. Mm -hmm. um, that way he can't auto control it the following turn. He has to. Put more stuff on it. What are you going to send down there? All those infantry All squads? those infantry squads are just going to walk over and uh, you just... You have to worry about those Taraxi coming in, Jack. I, I know, but I think the Taraxi can only kill so much stuff. I, I know, I know, but we're going to see. We're going to see what happens. All right, let's get the gimbal on these guys. So here comes all the infantry coming up to support each other. Yep, they're going to use their just cool, cool guy shotguns doing cool guy stuff. Uh, one unit of bikey boys over here is going to uh, data intercept. Okay. I'm just going to see how much we can do. I'm pretty sure these guys are going to, they're going to run. They're going to run, just try and take that objective, make him have to put something on it, and screen out for the Taraxi. Yep. At minimum, I'm just forcing Jack to have to put more things out into the center, which means my killie units get to do a lot more. Yes. Yeah, we don't love it, but that is how it is. So these are uh, infiltrators? These are incursors. Incursors. All right. And we are going to string them back so that they, a couple guys are behind the wall. So if you kill three, I still have incursors left. Okay. That's the game plan here. Plus, they're holding this objective. I'm just going to kill the whole unit. So please, I don't think you have to worry about that. Please don't. I mean... <laughs> I don't know if I get a say on this one <laughs> or not. Are Taraxi AP minus one ignores cover? They're not ignores cover, they're AP minus one though. Okay, we are gonna have our combat shield guys touching. Oh, if I touch, then you see me. Then I see you. That is bad news bears. We are not going to touch. Please touch, Jack. No, no touching. Do, do the touching. No touching. Uh, this squad... It's better just to get that plus one save on, on your unit, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. This squad's going to retrieve Octarius data in this quarter. Okay. I can get my quarter really easily. I can probably get his quarter, this quarter really easily at some point in the game. But... Can I expose any dreadnoughts? These two are probably going to end up being exposed to just light this squad up some. Okay. I don't think you're going to pull off the objective, but if you do, you do. You know? Some things you just can't control. So you think you expose two Redemptors and still have some extra shooting for the next turn? That's the game plan. Okay. The game plan is if you expose your shooting to, to shoot my shooting, then I get to shoot your shooting with my shooting that you shot my shooting, ah, if that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Good. Here he comes. First guy, he'll just touch terrain, I assume. He's not going to touch terrain. I want, I want it to be a narrow, narrow frontage. Is the other guy going to be able to get through there then? Mm, good point. <laughs> Like that. All right. And then we're going to put these dreadnoughts to where they can take the place of these guys if these guys get shot. Okay. So no matter where he shoots me from, I still get to do cool stuff and shoot him back. Dreadnoughts just repositioning a little bit with the characters. Yep. And then these squads are just going to be... This contemptor is not touching, correct? That is correct. Nothing is touching. Because okay. I do not want to get shot, please. Please. It, it's going to happen. Please don't shoot me. <laughs> White Scars feels very strong on these. While, right. you, while you're still moving, uh, we have a $5 super chat from Cloud Mode. He says, shout out to the Death Watch. They are probably the most beautiful army to be crushed by the Omnissiah. 
Okay, I don't like See, the tone of all of these. This is what we this is what we play for, Jack. So really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. And the the crushing, tone is very it's very hostile. I don't understand it. And also, chat has a question about um, a quick check on data intercept on that one objective that Rich left with his three raiders. I don't think he can perform an action now as he is not in range. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but maybe okay. you can make something out of it. He wasn't data intercepting on the uh, objective. No, I data intercepted my home over the character. I don't know if that answers the question. But uh, I controlled that objective because Jack didn't have anything on it, and I controlled it because I held it at, uh, at the end of my uh, command phase oh. because of the pregame moves. And when we move this squad, we're just going to do it. You are going to kill the whole unit at once. I just want to keep your Taraxi from doing anything. Sure. Taraxi are mean, and I don't like them. All right, no psychic, so shooting? They can just come in back here. Yeah, I could just come in your back. But you know what? Then they're getting shot. It's fine. Are they? Yes. So I will shoot you. It's fine. <laughs> okay. All right. Speaking of shoots. Shotguns coming from first unit in there. Going with the uh, strength four AP2 now. Damage two. So okay. these will pick up a guy a piece. Yep, no problem. Are you shooting at the three ponies? I'm shooting at the three ponies. First squad. Cool. And your T4? The ponies, yes. T4. All right, so wounding on fours, rural ones. Four and wounds, four. minus two. Yep, two so damage. these five up in holes. Nope, they go down. That's right. Start as we mean to go on. What else you got? Uh, so. That, yep. So we're going to fire this guy into the Rangers. Okay. I'm pretty sure oh, this friend is in, so we're going to fire him first. He's going to fire everything into these guys, mm -hmm. and then the second guy's going to fire his cannon. That's just the only thing in range for him? Yeah. Okay. Just looking to ding you up a little. All right, so go ahead and fire. Just make it not fun. Yep. You might as well shoot the small guns because they're in range. <laughs> yep. First one firing the onslaught. This is hitting on twos, because I tech marined them. Okay. Transhuman. It's a very mean rule. <laughs> All right. AP minus, you don't care. Okay. Is it one damage? It's one damage. So I'll be three ups, because you ignore, ignore cover, I assume. Yeah. On the unit? Yeah, okay. pick them for ignores cover. So two guys go down. Okay. So far, so I'll leave That's the end. nowhere to hide. You know why? Because there's nowhere to hide. There is going to be a place to hide. Actually, I can put him in dev, not that it matters, because yeah. it's AP two, so who cares? Yep. Yeah. Um, next all one. right, next one, Storm Bolters. Good. Wounding on fours. Two. AP minus, you don't care. Yep, one guy dies, so three have died total. Three off the, the auto cannon shot. Three hits, because it's blast. Three wounds, or two wounds. Transhuman. One more guy I'm dies. I'm get real tired of hearing transhuman. <laughs> <laughs> and then six shots off the plasma. This is where I'm gonna get really annoyed about transhuman. Zero ones to wound. Coming in clutch. Five wounds. Take your six offs. There we go. Nope. Five guys died. So nine of them died. All right. And the second plasma cannon. All right. Well, I don't I think can... you can pull out of anything. Uh. The, the guys back there. This guy is the one who hasn't shot. Yep. Let's see. So he's work. He's not touching terrain. So he's working at this angle. Correct. Uh. Yeah. About there. Okay, so I'm gonna pull those guys. Yeah, he should be able to see these guys right here. I have to pull nine, so. That is a lot. Five, uh, honestly, let's just make your charge longer. I think that's better. Because you already control the object. Yeah, I already right? do you control three the models on Yeah, there? I do. So you're gonna get your uh, domination point, no problem. I don't, yeah, I don't Four, think there was really a way to five, stop that. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, okay, we're gonna shoot you again with the other plasma cannon. Yep. In for a penny, in for a pound. These are threes, okay, I hit anyway. And then rear ones, four. four. Four six ups. Take two, so two oh, more okay. go down. So one and two. All right, we're looking at either... Eight inch charge? It looks like it's an eight, yeah. Okay. We're just gonna do it. Do you want to shoot with them? They advanced. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they advanced. Yeah, you pop white scars. Mm-hmm. So, oh, and he, no, top gun is 24. So no, no extra shots into him. 
Uh, picked up the ponies. We're pretty happy, all things considered. We're just going to try and make the charge. Okay. All right. Eight inch charge. I'm not going to overwatch. Does fail. CP? Negative. No, I'm not going to CP it. I have the objective. I have the objective. Okay. I'm going to one CP auto pass them. I'm going to pick that objective. Oh, because you're on that objective. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I strung back to that one on purpose. Yep. Is what it is. Okie doke. Um, and to be clear, you didn't want to reroll. Yes, to be clear, I did not want to reroll. Okay. I, I need my CP later in the game, and if I make that, I can kind of string out to take two objectives, but honestly, I'm not going to do that much damage in combat to you. No. All right, so uh, that's going to end up putting me at five because it's a hold two. That's right. The thing I'm the thing I'm happy about here is that I put you on... Um, I mean, that unit is no, no longer good to buff. It's nine guys left no, over. It's going to die the so. next turn, but it means I can just put it out here safely, no problem. Yep. Secondaries. Secondaries, I'm going to get Stranglehold. Uh, I got one of my Retrieve Octarius data quarters over there, and uh, Data Intercept is up and ready to rock. Yep, so I get two for Data Intercept at the start of my turn. Command phase benefits, so I'm going to gain a command point, and we are going to, let's see what we got here. So I can put myself at an angle to try and get after these uh, Redemptors, correct? That's correct, yes. Okay. So I could go after the Redemptors. He'd have one more Redemptor and... Uh, both Contemptors. Both Contemptor Dreads. That's right. So if I do that, I could go for Offense and just make sure that the Redemptors die, or I could go for Defense and put the Doctrine for the plus one saves. Uh, what you got for us? Oh, uh, while Rich is thinking about those moves, <clears throat> we have a couple super chats we need to take care of. We have a super chat from Matt O. He says, these ad mech have clearly been meddling in forbidden, forbidden, I can't read, forbidden Xenos tech and need to be completely purged. It's what Thank the emperor you. would want. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we also have a $5 super chat from Jake M. It says, thoughts on what Drakari will look like post nerf. I think the shooting side of the army can shine in tandem now versus the strange OP loopholes. Is there an ideal list now coming from that? Uh, I think it's going to be up in the air for a bit. I think you're going to see a bunch of lances, which is fine. I think you're going to see Kronos, because Kronos are still dumb. They didn't get nerfed. Um, yeah, I think Kronos seem very Kronos good. are very good, for sure. They're not as difficult to interact with as Rax and Raiders were, so I'm happy about that. But they seem very strong. I mean, Dark Elder are still an incredible army at the moment. They're just, they just got brought back to reality. Like the world that all of us other armies have been living in. They now have to live there. I'm sorry. That's awesome. Thanks, chat, for the questions. We're going to get back to Richard's movement phase. Okie doke. So I think we're going to just go for some damage and make this interesting. So we are going to plus one ballistic skill, and that is my uh, doctrine. And then we are going to go for reroll a hit, wound, and damage roll. Okay. As the uh, mechanical. So that'll only benefit the Mars units, of course. Um, and let's just do some threat overload. So the first unit to come out is going to be the unit with all the defensive buffs. Okay. And they're going to just come out like so. And I can send them this way. Jerks. Uh, mainly because um, I have this unit still alive to tag that objective. Yep. I don't think I could have done much more to that unit without exposing way too much stuff uh, for Richard to then take advantage of, but I'm comfortable just passing an insane number of five ups and making Richard sad. All right. He's, the challenge is, is, uh, is placed. Can you make how many, how many five up involves do you think? The problem is once I call it out that that's what I need to do, it doesn't happen. It just happens when I just... It happens naturally. It happens naturally. You can't force it. But now that I'm trying to force it, it's just, it's just doesn't, it doesn't want to do that. All right. So this unit's coming up. And this has the offensive buffs from the Manipulus as well as this unit. So I'm going to okay. hide. still have one more Ranger unit to hide. All right. They're going to go ahead and just move in there and not touch the terrain. These Rangers are... It's so glad to see Rangers on the table again. No more min battalion of 15 bodies. Now there are too many, though. Yeah, no, I think this is a perfect amount. This is very, very fluffy. They do just march across the board at your opponent, which is, which is what Rangers are supposed to do. Don't they just march all day towards their targets? They do. And then they just grind their own feet down? We're going to spend the strat on uh -oh. here to flat advance them six. Oh, boy. So they're going to come like so. Oop. Well, folks, you don't love to see it. Oop. Okie doke. And then we have 
The other iron strider, uh, these guys over here, they're just going to move up onto the objective and take that back. Alright, and now the Cerberus Raiders don't have to do too much with them. Uh, do have to think about the Volkites, but if I'm going to expose Iron Striders, uh, that is almost certainly where Jack puts his firepower. Because if he doesn't kill the Iron Striders, then I kill the other Dreadnoughts. That's in unless I unless I get all the five ups, like every five up. You could get all the five ups. You would be in trouble if I did get every five up. I, that would be troublesome. Yes. <laughs> and then these guys will be back here. Oop. All right. Oh boy. What's that? Oh, the real hit, wound, and damage roll. It's called efficiency, Jack. It's <laughs> that's efficiency. So we're going to go ahead and move in advance the marshal. And you're taking the plus one to hit? Yes, sir. All right, so not the plus one uh, save. So the crackback could be... Uh... One unit is ignoring the depreciation, and that's this unit. Right, the one that has to move really far. Yep. The others are minus three inch uh, move? Yes. Okay. Oh, no, 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 because they're no, minus, yeah, yeah. minus the weapon skill. Minus the weapon skill. Yeah. But that's why it's not really mattering too much. Yeah, who, who cares? <laughs> Uh, these guys are going to move in advance. If you find yourself in combat, you may have made a mistake somewhere. <laughs> Let's come up like so. And uh, Manipulus, the guy who has range is going to touch. He has the five, three damage weapon. The other uh -oh. guy's just going to peel over a little bit. And the Severus Raiders, I don't know. I think I'm going to just touch with uh, one unit. Let's see what they can do. They won't be able to reach that, so they'll just come over here. You're touching uh, the train? I'm going to touch the train with this Okay. Unit. I mean, that makes sense. As you said, I'm going to put my firepower into the chickens. So oh. one unit is going to touch. Yeah. Oop. Yeah, because honestly, if Jack doesn't go after the chickens, I'm A-OK -okay with that. And that's just to make sure I pick up that bike squad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to just leave an obsec squad on the objective, ready to take your objectives away, run onto your home objective, start tagging stuff. Like, it just gets rough. Yeah, we'll actually come out here. And get some angles downrange. No. I'd have to advance, so no. Okay. We'll just stay at that angle where you won't be able to shoot back at me. Yep. So we'll keep that yep. one safe. Save them for later. And the Taraxi themselves are oh going to come in. Oh, boy. And you screened out your backfield, correct? A little bit. You, you get shot if you go back there. Cool. It's so. my one and only chance to interact with Taraxi. <laughs> um, the idea there is you can't... None of this is touching, correct? Yeah, none of that's touching. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and come right here. And just flame away my uh, my incursors and then yeet out of there. Yep. So I'm going to just place them down real quick. <laughs> just so you can do booster thrust. <laughs> it's a booster. And this is why 15 inch range is awesome. Yep. Well, if these were infiltrators, yeah. yeah. Just, if they were. If they were. Unfortunately, 15 points in this army is kind of hard to come by in a way that I actually want to cut as opposed to that I don't. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Okie doke. So we'll go ahead and go into shooting. And... In fact, these guys can just come down every turn. Ugh. You love that. You don't love it. You love to you see it. You do not love to see it. Uh, oh, I didn't finish with the rest of that. Dragoon unit. Boop. One guy won't be able to see anything, so he'll just stay at this angle. Uh, I don't know if you can see with like almost any of those. There's a lift right there. If you want to move them further. I just have to draw from part of my base to yours. Okay, you remember, so you're touching. Yeah, but I'm touching this. Yeah, so I just have to draw a, a little angle over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I draw from the back of the base. Oh, that's the angle right there. Cool. All right, so then I have to, only one can shoot. So they'll just be, these guys will be shooting that way. Cool. Okay. All right, so we'll start there. The first guy will shoot into the, the Redemptor. This one? Yep. All and right. And the other two will go here. You got it. Other two. Uh, they have the plus one to hit. It's all good. Oh, boy. Are we rolling a wound roll? Nope. Three ah. invulns. Or I guess you have one guy with an invul. Yeah, we're going to go with him first because I don't want to die. He dies. Yep. And then uh, minus four? Minus three? Minus three. Minus three, so six ups. Okay. Bing, bing. Yep. It's five, three plus D3. And then the two shots into the Redemptor, rerolling ones, two hits. Just rerolling ones in general? 
Yep, I have the Skatari Marshal over there. Two wounds. Uh, I was so hoping to punish you for rerolling a wound on them. <laughs> you just fail when you're like, oh, I already used it, but no. Uh, five ups. One. Goes to four. Yep. So I take, so I have nine left. Mm -hmm. And then we will go with these uh, Rangers over here. Okay. Uh, we'll go with these these guys since they only have that target. So we'll do this. The Sergeant first, one hit, one wound, and a mortal. AP one? Uh, no, he, he doesn't have the Galvanic Greg, so just one. And a mortal? Yeah. Okay. It's AP one. No, it's AP two, I think. Uh, I think I. What did I roll? I rolled a five. Okay. Five. And so then. Uh, the, I don't remember what I rolled. Seven dudes, 14 shots, four, eight, 12. Here we go. And these are hitting on fours? Or a no. ballistic skill. Oh, these guys, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, no rerolls. Get the plus one to hit. Cool. Alrighty. Six of the immortals in addition, so that's two mortals. So that's gonna pick up a guy by itself. And then that many saves. AP minus two. And then I'll reroll one of those. Five ups. Dead on the spot. Okay. So no worries there. Then we'll start with the, that ranger unit. It only has the dreadnought as a target. This small unit. Nine, three, so 18 shots. All right. 12, 15. Just starting with the stuff that can only go in, in one place. Yep. No uh, one reroll to hit here. And these are hitting on threes. They're hitting on threes. This is minus one to hit, uh, no, and no, you're no, plus no. one yep. ballistic skill. Mm -hmm. All right. So all good. Yep. That. Fives. So that's going to be three saves, three invulns. And you want? Oh, they're not Mars. That's right. They're not Mars. All right. Three five ups. Oof. Down to six. Almost as much as the last cannon. Yeah. We Three. will do the uh, Taraxi into the Infiltrators. Okay. Four, eight, nine. Enforcers. Auto hits. So that's going to be 5, 10, 20, 31, 33. And this is you sticking your army out 10, there. We're going to see what happens. 15, 20, 25, 30, 33. There we go. All right. Winning on fours. You want to just pull the fours out of that? Pulling these, these out? Yep. Okay. The six doesn't matter. Yep. Okay. Pull that two out. And then there's the rest of them. It's going to be AP them. minus one, not ignores cover? Yep. So just four ups. Well, I'm in cover. Yeah. yeah oh, you're in cover. Yeah, so three ups. Yeah. One. Two, three, and a wound. And the wounded guy, so that kills four. Four. So I got one left. Yep. What else can you shoot me with? If I'm here, you can't shoot me with the brick, so you have to throw a las cannon in. I'm okay with that. Why can't I shoot you with that? This last guy's. Oh, with touch. that guy? Yeah, yeah. No, pro no problem. No, I can't shoot him if, if he's uh, at a You can shoot him with a las cannon? No, I'm good. Do you want to shoot him with a las cannon? No, I just. Not my to... dreadnought, please? I just need you to be off this objective here so I can get strangled. Yeah, well, if I'm going there, you put like three guys into him and just exactly. Kill him. Okie doke. So next up, we've got uh, two Iron Strider units, the Manipulus, and this big unit of Rangers. So let's activate the big unit of Rangers, and I'm going to spend the two CP but make it one. Okay, with uh, my trait, with uh, my Holy Order, and how much damage do they want to do? I think. So I'm in half range of every, of uh, just this guy. Yeah, just the one guy. So the six guys up here are going to go there, and everybody else is going to go here. Okay. So six guys in half, everyone else is long range. Yep. Okay. So one, two, three, oh boy. four, five, and six. This is an uncomfortable amount of damage. I think that was... No. All right. Got to recount. One, <laughs> two... Three, four, five, six. Nope. This is like playing against orcs, except they hit on twos. <laughs> there we go. They're ignoring the heavy penalty. Not that it mattered. Yeah, because they're There's rapid fire. Yeah. yeah. And then fives. Oh, I'm, I'm used to a higher class of uh, wound rolls out of you. Mm -hmm. Five ups. Three. Three more. 
So he's down to three? He's down to three. And then the other guys. These galvanic rifles, man. They don't the play. The other 14 guys yep. are going to be doing uh, two shots each. Yep. Eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Okay. And this is into the back guy, right? Yep. Okay. Not a big fan of uh, overkilling, huh? Uh, they have plus one to hit, right? Yeah, they got plus yep. one to hit. So that was the one, though. Okay. As I said, it's like orcs, but they hit on twos. <laughs> there we go. Fives. So just take those. When I said I needed all the five ups, I didn't mean you needed to have all the five ups. All of them. All of them, Jackie boy. Oh boy. That was really bad. <laughs> That was nine wounds. Okay. So I'm down to four. So we'll start with uh, one last chicken unit. I feel like you might kill them. The back unit. Uh, uh, so we'll, you we'll have do five more, five shot. last chickens. Okay. Yep. We'll do the first of the two man unit. It'll be two and two. Got so it. We'll do him first and then him. Okay. So other guy, both hit. Both wounds. Both save. No. CP. Am I? I'm dead if I if I let this go through. Yes. Yes, I think so. I'm trying to make you get greedy on your next shooting phase and, and fluff it. So I'm going to re-roll re it for glory. Okay, Dang. so it doesn't do it. Does it boom? Doesn't nope. boom. And then the two shots into the other guy both hit. Uh, both wounds. Yep. Both dead? Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> he does not boom either. Okay. Ha, you ran out of targets to shoot. Nope. No, I still have him. I have an entire <laughs> unit. Yeah, I'll pick him up. That's okay. This one dude can shoot there. Uh, sure. So two guys into him, one dude into that guy. Okay. So the two last cannons into the infantryman. No reroll there. Uh, Rerolling ones just from this guitar marshal, so good. Twos, okay. Six ups. Five ups, you're in cover. I'm not in cover, but either way I die. Okay. And then two shots into my dreadnought, and I really hope this doesn't kill. Two hits. One reroll. Nope, just one save. Okay, can't kill. We're good here. <laughs> good, good. Bounce. All right. All right. Like and it never happens. Uh, I think there was nothing else over there, right? That's it. Yeah. Okay, so the manipulus can't shoot, so ha! that'll be it. So uh, at the end of the turn, I get my my uh, stranglehold, the updated domination, and uh, then you it. also got data for two, I believe. At the start of my turn, yeah. Start. Same thing for me. I will get data for two. So I'm going to send the Taraxi back into reserve. So dumb. So <laughs> dumb. So dumb. So dumb. <laughs> how? How? Come on, guys. Let it be, let it be, Jack. Let it be. Like, how is this, I mean, come on. Like, come on, right, right, right? All right. Did you get your first artillery stage? Uh, yeah, I got one Both of us have one, and then these guys are also coming up. Going up into reserve for the yep, next turn. Yep, our stalkers are going up. Yep. Okay. All right, what so do I want to do with my turn? I'm running out of stuff. I brought his guns out, so I definitely want to shoot them. Uh, yeah, I was, not, I, was, I was at four, I think. I have you going Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, you had only spent the one for the reroll, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, primary? Primary is going to be a five, because I control two. Yep. Um, so I think the game plan here is... Is that one guy survived is going to try and make the charge in there, and then deny you that way? Oh, with the... Yeah. What, well, with the Taraxi? With the Taraxi, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> they just do stuff. They, they do, stuff. do. That's what they're known for, is doing stuff. So no buffs on this, okay? Except for the plus six inch range. Yeah, I think we're going to end up charging that, try and take away both these objectives from you. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that, because giving you no points is better than giving you points. Sure. And we are not going to become a White Scars this turn. No advancing? No advancing. You're close enough. I'm not that worried. Plus, now I get to shoot some stuff, I guess. Don't it, knock it's it. It's a small unit, so yeah. you should be able to take care of it, no problem. I'm going to be in uh, 
in tactical doctrine, so I want to no say. No more tactical, tactical after this, correct? That's correct. This is the last tactical. I'm going to the last tactical. manually put this one into Devastator Doctrine, the Contemptor, and sure. I'm going to use Brilliant Strategist to put this one into Devastator. Okay. Uh, what do I do about this big brick of idiots in my face? I think the Rangers are going to carry the day. I think the Rangers are what carries the day most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> it's very frustrating. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. So are you going to play this where only a couple, they, they're going after particular Iron Striders, and you'll make it so the other ones have to come at, once again, like spend the CP to come at an angle, or you're just gonna be out there? I'm just looking to blow go. as many Iron Striders okay. off the board as cool. possible. They're fast enough, they can keep getting angles yeah. on me. They're pretty fast. Yeah, I don't love it. So in this case, you think you might just ignore the Ranger unit, or you send the other squad in there? Uh, if I do, you're gonna overwatch me, but if you do, I think that's okay. It's only sixes, I have to be holy in the defensible. Yeah, so I think that's fine. Yep. I think we are going to move everything out, maybe bring the target overload back. Do the same exact thing in revert. In yeah, just yeah. everything's out, everything's shooting, everything loves it. Right, we're in tactical, everyone can shoot into your stupid dog and pony show and the real ones to wound. Sure. So that's gonna be nice. And then we're just gonna start getting getting fellas out and shooting you. Here come the Redemptors. Here come the Red Emptors. Maybe I can run him out of stuff on the back end. Now I uh, exposed the last gen chickens here because the Redemptors actually have the scariest firepower into them because of their high AP flat three damage. And they're also very good into the, uh, or decently good into the Rangers because of the volume of fire that they have and its blast on the big weapon. So getting two of those away is nice. Right. You could check. Yep. Give them invulns, give them stuff, give them real wounds, etc. This gonna, unit's going to move on. and they're going to grab the gimbal so you can see. They're going to data intercept. Yeah. So just on this side over here. We got the Iron Striders, my character Actually, bubble, and the third it. unit of Rangers ready to pop out the next turn, res respond damage. This is the unit that's buffed to the hilt with all the cool buffs. Yeah, Jack I don't is love sending it. a bike unit there and sending another bike unit there. Basically, if Jack under commits um, or over commits to try and kill Laz Cannon ones, these guys just get to live and walk up onto this objective next yeah, turn. Yeah, I don't love it. So these are not touching, correct? They're not touching. Yep. Game plan here is to tell the Taraxi keep to, stuff alive. to get out of my face. Just what about keep... getting in your face? Well, if they do, then they do. You know, like there's obviously there's nothing I can do. So about that it. is a Redemptor with the Macroplasma and two Double Volkai Contemptors, the Magical Space Marine unit. That's right. All right. We're going to see how magical they are. One of them's plus one to hit right now. Aren't, uh, aren't both of them? You spent this. Oh, that was Dev Doctrine. Plus one to hit. Now they're both in Dev Doctrine. They're both in Dev Doctrine. Uh, and we're also going to pop um, reroll wounds, Tome of Ectocleides on Iron Striders. Iron Striders. Iron, Striders. Iron Strider and Ballastarii. Right. Go ahead and do it. Well, first we got a question. What's up? Uh, right before you pop all that, we have a $5 super chat from James Mill. It says, What made you decide on Brilliant Strategist over the Ultramarine CP region warlord trait? Uh, you don't end up using that much CP in the list, we found. And being able to put multiple dreads back in Dev Doctrine is pretty pretty solid. Extra AP, because it's the extra AP plus ignoring cover on you. Plus unit. ignoring cover, That's yeah. That's really nice. So we're going to, what has cover up thank, right now? Thank you so much uh, for that super chat. Very much appreciated. What has cover? This unit. All right, we're going to yeah. nominate them to be ignored cover, yeah. yeah. I put all the defensive buffs on them. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's... Where are we going to start? Start at the stuff that only shoots at the ponies? We're going to start with this one at least, shooting ponies. All into the ponies? All into, well, he's going to throw a crack grenade into them. Okay. So that's going to be one shot, misses. How about that? Well, How about them after I didn't want to kill him anyway. I want to kill you in combat. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Shooting here. No rerolls. No rerolls, but the other squad will get rerolls. Winning on fours. Winning on fours, so reroll ones, ones, and it's AP minus one. Okay. Couple saves. That's going to bring me to a five up. So one guy does end up dying. All right. So we'll pull him. We are going to fire the same second unit in. squad? Yep. One, two. Where are they going? Three. Same target? Same target. Okay. These ones are real ones to hit, though, so we're going to mess you up. Fire and crack Put the grenade. character up here. Yep. yep. Fire and crack into the unit in front of him. That is a wound. Strength six. Into this unit or this one? That unit. Transhuman. Boo. 
Shooting that. <laughs> Get out of here. What How many you... times do I have to say it, Jack? <sighs> You're crushing my hopes and dreams over here. Your ones didn't help there. It got me one extra hit, which is going to be the difference. Oh, you got one more. You roll ones to wound. See? It's good. All right. And then five ups. Five ups. AP minus one. All right. So make one of those. So it kills one, kills two, and wounds a guy. All right. And this was into this unit, correct? That's correct. Okay. These two die, and this guy is wounded. Maybe I'll end up firing a, a, a dread down here and just finish it up. Duding them off the board. Who knows? Okay. We'll see how my shooting phase goes. Where are we going? First one that's plus one to hit and reroll everything is going to go into these idiots. The minus one to hit ones? Uh, actually, no. How about the one that isn't minus one yes. to hit? I'm just going to go into that. I know, I know. That's why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason to do it. They're both three mans. Do the one that you Yeah, the three man that. Off. Yeah. So, counts one. This two. is both arms, correct? This is both arms into them. We're just going to pick them up. We're going right. to see what two's, happens. Two's re-rolling, four's re-rolling. Oh, yeah. yeah. AP minus one. <laughs> so, two's re-roll. All right. Okay. Fours. And then fours re-roll. Uh, sixes, so I'm going to pull this six and just hold on to it for a yep. quick. Can you re-roll? You can re-roll these, right? I could if I felt like it, but I don't feel like it. Cause Ooh, that was not as many as I hoped for. Okay. Take all these saves. AP minus one. AP minus one. So it's two morals, okay? Yep. AP minus one. So we're gonna make fail. So one chicken goes down and one is at two wounds. All right. You can take with, that. That's with your mortals. Yep. So uh, does that guy blow up? No. Aww. And this was correct into the middle unit? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're gonna be able to see me regardless. So I'll take, I'll leave the one. No, that was in, sorry, that was into the full three men in the back. The, the three men to the back? Yeah. So I'm going to now pull you so you can't see those two. That's fine. Okay. Just looking to kill chickens. That's fair. Got bubble gum and stuff and killing chickens. This redemptor into the uh, two, men. two man. We're going to fire everything into there. Okay. Macroplasma. One shot. We're going to reroll that. Two Wait, shots. Is that with a command? Yeah. yeah. Commander okay. point. Hey, that's a hundred percent increase, Jack. I hate you. <laughs> Both miss. Both miss. <laughs> oh. This is a bad start, guys. That's what this is called. <laughs> this is what I love to see. This is not what we this needed. We best. needed that to kill both. It could come around here, though. It could come around. We roll the wounds. AP two. AP. Yeah. Uh, no, not AP two. AP one. Tactical. Oh, because you. I, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I thought you went dead. It's good. Cool. Uh, Stormbolter, this will be at AP1. Fives are rolling. Five by five. One. Good. Okay, top gun. Two shots. Two hits. Two wounds. AP. AP minus one. Goes through. I think it's just two. Maybe D3. Two. All right, so two. So this one is going to go down to four wounds, and is there any more shots from that one? From that guy, no, sadly. He so where's the last biffed it really bad. Where's the last guy going? So <laughs> last, I can't take you out of vision of them, so you're just going to shoot. Last one. guy's going to shoot into them. Shoot into the two man? Shoot into the two man, because they're not minus one to hit, and last thing I want to do is not kill anyone. Not kill things. anything. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so bad. <laughs> Okay, but still hitting on twos because you did the uh, plus one on the tech marine, right? Nope, that was the other one. That was the other one? Okay. Wounding on fours, are we rolling? This should kill both. If it doesn't, big mad. No mortals? One mortal? One mortal. Okay, so one mortal, but all these are AP1? All those are AP1, so you get four ups off that. Four ups. So I'm going to fail two. Okay. And he takes one mortal, so he's down to He dies. And... Yep, gone. And the oh. other guy takes the mortal. Uh, okay, that's not great, uh, <laughs> if we're going to be honest with you. That needed to do way more than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it killed two chickens. No, oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is very bad. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I'm not happy about it. Look at we're going to fire um, my forge bolter. Just remember, Jack, I didn't even pop the pl double plus one. Oh yeah, no, this, I've seen each of those kill like three last chickens at once, and it, it can totally happen, and it just didn't. But that's Is okay. Is tech marine man? Yeah. Uh, that's okay, I didn't actually want to do anything. What's How up? How many saves? Zero. Zero? Okay. Zero. All right. Charges, Charges. Though. We're going to charge here. Cool, I'm not overwatching. Yeah, I know. You're good. Yep. 
Well, I'd like to take this objective you from you as well. So we're it. gonna get you in just put here. Put the last model there, and he consolidates that way. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna be like that. So he's still gonna be able to fight, and then he's just gonna pile into the objective. No, I would. I would actually put one model there. Because you're you might, it's your one damage, so I have plus one against you. Oh, you do, so Lucius. I'm not gonna. Don't play around with that. <laughs> okay. I'm not overwatching there either. Uh, would I roll or roll Nate? Yeah, you're good. I'm looking to tag both. Okay, cool. Both as in this squad and this squad? That squad and this squad. Okay. Yeah. Just want you to have to use as much shooting as possible. Sure. All I have right. one fallback for them and one. Uh, one teleport, teleport, making you use it. I'm not that scared of your combat. Okay, I got you. All right, we're gonna swing here first. Yep. Uh, there's no chance of me interrupting. So. Yeah, I'm not worried. Which if you want to interrupt, it's uh, it's one of these guys. If you want to interrupt, that's stupid, so you won't do it. Uh, him in here. Yep. All hit. T3. T3, so winning on threes, lightning claws, re-rolling. Four AP2. Okay, AP2, but then I get uh, plus one. It's one damage, so, so you five get five up. ups. Yep, so three guys die. Uh, let's just see. Let's just see. No rerolls, and then wounding on threes again. Okay. Those AP one plus one, so fours. Fours. Okay, that's gonna kill four more. All right. So three, four. Ah, oh, looks like you don't get to hold the objective. Nope. Uh, swinging with the other unit. They almost certainly die from morale. Okay, so this is going into the fully buffed unit. Yeah, this I don't expect to do anything other than just touching them. Yep, transhuman. Well, it's not transhuman, but luminescent something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AP1 plus one. Mm -hmm. Kills three. Okay. And lightning claw. Oh, no, I ignore AP1, so those are all good. Cool. Yep, all those are good <laughs> on three ups. Three more three ups, or this is the lightning claw. Yeah. Okay. So four ups. Yep. Get there. That's one. three ups because you ignore the AP events too. Oh yeah, you're not insulted. So I killed one. You killed one. Okay. You you can consolidate towards me. Just looking to stop your movement, make you do random stuff that you don't want. Honestly, killing that few last chickens on my on my hit was just incredibly bad. <laughs> like this, with, with the tome of Ectoclades. With the tome of Ectoclades, <laughs> I needed to kill more than two. I'm gonna swing back again. So I'll start here because this is easier. The sergeant and the extra guy. They're minus one weapon skill, so nothing. Okay. And then the other guys, if you want to just push them slightly, I'm going to try and swing with as many as I can. You're so also minus one weapon skill? Yes. Okay. Because I went for plus one ballistic skill. That's right. Two, yeah. three, 12, four, 16, and it's 19 guys because you just killed one. Yeah. But then there's the sergeant. That's yeah. two. I have fired Volkite Contemptors with Tome of Ectoclades and all the buffs and the Iron Striders before, and it's never done even close to this little damage. All right. It is and then, not uh, great. Reroll, no rerolls. Wounding three wounds. No AP. On here? No, on the other unit. That was, this was all the other This on the two up? Yay, it kills the. No, there wasn't a wounded guy there. But somebody is wounded now. Well, no, it kills him because he's two wounds. He's a Van Vet. Why did you take it on the van vet? Because he's a two up, not a three oh, okay. up. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I didn't expect I rolled two ones. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, uh, the logic checks out. So we do have to do morale. These guys failed on a one or a two. Go. Get out of here. <laughs> I, find, I killed the unit, finally. I killed the unit. Uh, and then they can't foul uh, these guys. Good? Yep. And I don't believe I need morale on anybody else. No, I think you're good. Okay, so that was a great turn for me. Yeah. Because uh, even oh, though I pop the offensive mama. buffs, now I can pop the defensive buffs and be fine next turn. So that's what I'm going to yeah, do. Yeah, I now. don't anticipate this game going on for too much longer. So we passed these ones. Let's go ahead and go into the magic book of Admac here. Well, let's, uh, Jack, what did you score on secondaries? Secondaries, I got Stranglehold. Um, I've not retrieved any more Octarius data. That data is secure. And then Richard scores a zero on his primary. Zero and only one point on uh, data intercept. That's right. All right. Which is why I started pulling the back guys, because just in case you swung down, I could have extra models on that objective. Yep. Richard, Didn't end up working. I'm going to go up to three command points, and I am going to go ahead and pop the plus one save, and which means minus three movement on my units, except for the ones that ignore the depreciation. So one of I'm going to use the enhanced data tether to make this big unit ignore the depreciation, 
And then I am going to have these guys ignore it from the other Skatari Marshal. Yep, sounds good to me. Okay. Uh, actually, those are probably the guys I teleport, honestly. How are you engaging these guys? I'm not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was a little too ambitious. Okay, okay. So uh, then in that case, I'm, not, I'm just going to fall back with them. So I'll let them ignore the depreciation because they just have to come back like so. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see what we want to do. Uh, all the defensive buffs will go on the full man unit, even though it doesn't really matter. Um, no, honestly, I think I'll just keep them there. So we'll put all the defensive buffs on the 19 man unit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they're going to get uh, the, uh, the fallback and shoot. And that is at a minus one, but I have Raymond of the Techno Martyr to ignore that penalty. Alrighty. Um, Traxy, they can just come in and flame the characters, which the Tech Marines two up armor, the other guys three up, the Lieutenant. That's right, yeah. I'll probably try and kill the Lieutenant, and actually, I'd probably try and kill the, play, the Tech Marine and make a charge into him, because I can take off your banner. I yeah, make you, the charge. Yeah, you can. That would be annoying. Do you have rights of war on Vila? I do. Okay, so then he's OPSEC. Yeah. So then that wouldn't matter. Well, it's on, yeah, it's on him. He's with the six. Okay, okay. So just yeah, double check. Good. Yeah, so in that case, I will just try and kill the lieutenant. Okay. Let us go. So the Iron Striders, I could advance and get all the way up there, but don't need to. They're in a great spot. This one is going to be healed at the end of my movement phase, but I'll just move it behind the forest, put the manipulus up there. These guys are going to just fall back. because I don't need to get crazy aggressive since I should do a lot of damage to Jack shooting this turn. Just moving three inches back. Can you do anything when I fall back? Nope. Okay. That's good. And we've got the Skatari no, Marshal. I was just trying to keep you from moving up the field, which I think is still right, but this is going to suck. All right. Now I should be able to get him there. Yep. Yep. Yep, this is when I need to pass every five up. <laughs> this is the turn. Um, and then these guys are going to come out this way. And these are the ones ignoring the depreciation. So they're going to just pop out. And if you survive, I'll go ahead and make the charge move on to this objective. Ah, but if I'm, if I'm dead, then you can't do anything. Nope, which is why I'm going to also move the horses to come touch it. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so they'll come out like so. All right, and uh, other manipulus with his flamer, he'll touch, and the this marshal is going to do the mm, he'll do the action over there. This big pony unit is going to move up and come around this angle. And this is very likely my Wrath of Mars target this turn. I might as well touch the the uh, this piece. And then they're going to come around and just touch this so that if I end up destroying you, I will hold this objective, no problem. Cool. And I think that is an end of movement. So we're going to go ahead and bring our friends, the Rust Stalkers, down in here. Yep. Retrieve Octarius data on this one. Yep. Okay. In this quarter, I mean. Can you yoink them back up in the same turn you bring them back down? No. No. That, okay. They they also changed that for guerrilla tactics. Yep. I wonder how so, long it'll take for Taraxi to get fixed. Never. No. Never. All right. They're coming into your backfields. Yeah. They're going to try and pick away at the lieutenant. You don't want to just retrieve Octarius data from my quarter. I mean, I could, but I can just once you, you can just do it, it when I'm dead. Yeah. I'm just going to do it when you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was as I said, not the turn I needed. Richard, my apologies. What did you score on that interception? Only one. Jack was able to make that charge move on this objective here and uh, can just put a model there. And the reason he just starts to put a model here is just in case he whiffs on the killing, he wouldn't be able to consolidate that way. Yeah, I was really hoping to be looking down like one to two Iron Striders this turn, and not <laughs> six. Um, okay. <laughs> but we'll go from there. <laughs> All right, so um, let's get into the shooting then. There's a lot of shooting to happen. Yes, there is. So we're gonna start with just the stuff that only has a couple targets, so this unit. It's going to go ahead and fire into here, and we'll pop the Wrath of Mars. So uh, it's going to be two for, this is the seven man units so of the sergeant. Hits, doesn't wound, and then 12, 14. 
Sixes are going to be two mortals in addition okay. to normal damage. So that's going to be four mortals, and then just that. Four mortals, three saves, AP. AP one. Okay. So five five damage. Yep. And then we'll go ahead and fire the second unit at you. Yep. Uh, is the guy wounded? Nope. Sergeant. Not anymore. Sergeant wounds. AP two two damage. And there's one two three four. I'm gonna take it on five one of the bikers. Guys. Takes it down to one. Okay. The regular guys. They're angry. They're Six very is mad. Be one mortal. So you're gonna take two mortals and two saves. AP one. Okay. First save on a four up. Dies. Next save on a four up. Lives. And then he takes two mortals. And then yeah. Uh, bank. Okay. And uh, we'll go with our friends, the Iron Strider Laz Cannons. We will start with the two into this guy. Mm -hmm. All hit. All wounds. One. That is going to be four damage. Into which guy? The one Contemptor out there. Yep. That one. Okay. So he's down to five. Yep. Then we will go with the single one. He'll go into him. Okay. Both hit. Both wounds. Cool. One. Don't roll the six. Take three down to two. Mm -hmm. And then we have the three man unit. They are going to go ahead and pop. Their shots into. They're gonna we'll shoot their shot. We'll shoot the flat three damage guy into here. Okay. The manipulous he hits. Wounds. AP. I don't think it does anything on sixes. AP two at least. Goes through. So flat three, which so kills him. Kills him. Does he boom? No. All right. The three iron striders. Just make sure we do damage here. So go into the redemptor with the three guys. Yep. Okay. One reroll for Mars. I'll hit. Are you still in that? That is just their trait. Oh, that, they benefit from canonical because they one re-roll they hit. That is very good. Um, the canonical is re-roll hit, wounded damage roll. All right. That's going to be re-roll once to wound from the guy. Six invulns on the Dreadnought Man. All go through. Okay. That is He's super dead. <laughs> <laughs> he takes a thousand damage. So I said I was anticipating <laughs> taking a quarter of that return fire on my <laughs> on my turn and said all of it. Um, Let's go with these in this infantry unit. Um, if I'm going to fire the galvanic rifles, I should do should do it on them. How many guys have ranged it? None of them. If I put them in that, I feel like you still kill them. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. All right. So we'll fire the torsion cannon, the flamer. Okay. From the manipulus, D6 shots, auto hits, three. Nope. Okay. It's a uh, string four. And I think that's all the little shots. So it's just the two big ranger units and the Taraxi. This unit's going to activate first. And I am not going to spend the CP. I'm going to just fire them normally. And we're going to put half the guys here and half here. OK. So 20 shots going here. All right. Four, eight, 12, 16. One. Fours. This is minus one. Okay. And fives. Two. Okay, so I gotta take it on him. Uh, we passed the second one, but he's yep. fine. Sure. And then the other guys going Thank, into the Thankfully, unit. they were both fours, which made that very easy. Twelve, sixteen, and twenty. Here we go into the other bike unit. Wish that was the wound roll. Boy, that. So not too bad. That many? Many. Well, I've already lost my storm shield. So two ones. So two. fives. Lose a guy and a wound. Mm -hmm. And was one guy wounded? No. No. That's just the storm shield guy took. Yeah, took the storm the shield guy just took two ones. And he died. took the fall. So. We will pop. I still think I won't use the strat here. I'd rather have the Traxi come back up, honestly. So we'll go ahead and shoot this unit. We will fire. Let's fire five guys here. 
and then the rest of them here. So okay. 14 there. So five guys, eight, 10 shots going yep. into him. Uh, no. And then uh, that many AP2s? Yep, I'm T4 now, so four ups, he is dead. He's dead, and then the 14 guys, so 28 shots. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28 shots coming into the bikes in front. And they're ignoring the penalty from Raymond and the Techno Martyr. Winning on five. Because it's all bikes, right? Uh, yeah, always was, always has been. Cool. <laughs> always will be. AP2s. Uh, so he dies, and then another guy dies. Yep. All right. And the Traxi, they are going to go ahead. Just make sure I put them that way. Yep. I'm going to just put every shot into the lieutenant here. Yeah, hit me. So, three, six, nine auto hits. Six, 12, 18, 20, 29, 31, 37. So, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 33. And then if you give me four more, is 37? Four more? It's 37, right? Yeah, I believe that's what I heard. Five, you're T4, right? That's right. Okay. Yikes. Eight. And then I have five of the little single shots. Well, let me see if I die to this. It's AP1, right? Yep, AP1. Does the lieutenant go down? Yes. <laughs> he went down. Okay. All right. And I think that is going to be charge phase. So we're going to charge this unit into the single bike. Yep. That is going to be a six. Going to make it? I'm just going to wrap you. Yep. Don't worry. I only have one unit that can shoot, so I don't think you're going to be Those in that Those guys shoot ridiculous. a lot. They shoot a lot, but they're not at that range and not enough to kill bricks. <laughs> well, remember, this unit doesn't have the buffs. It's the blue unit, the defensive buffs, that is. Yep. Well, yeah, maybe I throw away all my, uh, van my, all my veterans, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. And then Do they ignore the AP? They ignore everything. Okay. They're going to also charge. Okay. Oh, uh, no, they can't. They, that's the unit that fell back. So just activate this unit, trap you. Oop. Swing with eight guys. Okay. Not really actually trying to do damage here. Although they are angry. They're very mad. Fives? Fives. Two saves. No AP. One. Swinging again. <laughs> one hit. One, one wound. wound. AP one. Let's fail it. So one guy does go down, and I'll just pick this guy right here and get him out of here. And I think that is going to be all good. All right. Well, that that was not. Uh, so one CP at the end of the turn. Yep. Bring the Traxi. Pop the Traxi back. back up. That was not a fun turn. <laughs> I've had fun, more fun turns, that's for sure. On the solo biker, he's going to stick around, and I'm going to go up to four. Four commander points. My data intercept is going to get me two. Yup. <laughs> all right. All right. Well. Did you score a stranglehold? I did score uh, the stranglehold. Well, I'm no longer interested in getting into a slug at slugging match with you. I have three for data intercept, and I have six for stranglehold, and then um, I have four points right now for retrieve that Octavi Octarius data. Plus one to hit on him. I'm not interested in. Uh, not tagging anything. No. We are going to desperate breakout on my solo guy, and oh, one he dies. He does not, which means he's going to take your objective from you. Sure. He don't know. He doesn't have the Vanguard vet. He can't go through that terrain. No. <laughs> he, <laughs> but I need that. No. I think I can still get. It. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, did you score primary? Uh, yes. Yes, I scored a five. You got five. But I needed that. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> Now I can't get domination anymore. <laughs> yeah, you can. No, I can't. Oh, because you, you can't. Yeah, I can't. I can get there, but I can't peel you off the objective. The Contemptor could pick up this whole unit, and then maybe something gets magical right. over here. Probably not. No. 
Uh, if I peel up the whole unit, then I lose my Contemptor in the following turn. If he comes here, he gets to shoot this unit and pick it up. It's not bad. Lost my Lieutenant, but I'm still wounding on threes. You don't ignore AP or anything, so Dev Doctrine this turn. Yeah, uh, that that's that's no fun. It's no fun, for sure. <laughs> But you could desperate break out here, and if you kill that unit, you do. Yeah, get it. I'm not killing them. Uh, they have no go buffs. Here. That's the unit that has no buffs. To be clear. Yeah, but to shoot them, I would have to get exposed to shots. Yep, that's yeah. true. And I don't really want to do so that. You, you don't have to spend the strike if you don't want to. And I'm not in range to do anything with these units, unfortunately. Uh, so they're just going to sit here again because I don't have range to break out and do anything. Yep, I'm outside 18 of you, so my good shooting doesn't work, and even then it wouldn't it wouldn't do any really any damage. So I'm out of range of this squad as well. So they're gonna sit there. The game plan was just to huddle these on this objective and keep cycling them onto this one. Yep, have bottom of the turn, you get a 15 have, at the have end. Have bottom of the turn. Uh, but now they are a little out of position, so... You don't have the teleport in this list, correct? Do not. Plus they would just teleport me back to there. Yeah, that's I'm true. Teleport's just the out of characters and relics and whatnot. All right, so we're just going to do uh, a shooting phase. So you don't have to desperate break out him if you don't want to. Yeah, I think I will leave him in there. Yeah, give yourself that, uh, the command points back. All right, we're going to shoot downtown here. We are in dev doctrine at the moment. Okay. Minus one. And plus one to hit. Okay, so then threes. Firing through the forest, yep. Pretty good. Not bad. This will be funny with these. <laughs> The six if they live all here. here. Yeah. No, not if they live. So three mortals? Yep. Three mortals and then that many four ups. Okay. No, they have four up armor, you're AP one. You're plus one. Oh yeah. For Doctrine. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a two damage weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, I am counting as in cover and I have plus one for ignores cover. Okay. So I need four ups, so that's going to kill one, two, three, four, five, six. And three mortals kills seven and wounds the sergeant because it's an eight-man unit. Okay, so I just will the be happy left. with. <laughs> Back to you, Richard. <laughs> well, morale on him. Uh, I could auto pass and be cheeky, but that is not something that matters. No, he's gone. Ah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Um, I am going to get a fifteen on primary. Yep. I'm going to punch you in combat. And I'm going to get three on. on uh, yep. First, you ahead. hit me. Um, we'll pile in towards you. Now is where I just try and stay alive, because I don't have that many units left, so I'm just trying to stay alive till turn five. Ten. Stay safe. Fifteen. And the sergeant. Keep my characters alive through your Taraxi just coming in over and over, because I have the uh, Dreadnought right next to them. And then we'll be on fives. There you go. No AP. Four three ups. He's found his way down to another wound. Okay, you get to swing back against me. Two hits. Two wounds, AP1. AP1 plus one? Yep. One dies. No, you're actually good, because it's damage one. Oh yeah, it's damage one, yeah. Yep. Okay. You don't have a special weapon on him. I do not. Okay. All right, so back to you, Richard. Scores a 15. And then I'm gonna get three on data intercept. And stranglehold I am going to get for sure. So let's see what we want to do. We're going to gain a CP, mechanicals. What do we got here? Jack, did you score any secondaries on that? Did not. Okay. Uh, I scored two data intercept. Sorry. Yes, it did. Okay. And data intercepting again. Takes you to six. Mm -hmm. We'll do uh, plus three move as my doctrine. And we will do uh, for the canticle. Mm, we'll do a minus one to hit in combat. Okay. Okay. So, I can do retrieve Octaria's data pretty easily in Jack's backfield. Yep. If I don't want to shoot the Taraxi. Um, but I'd rather just shoot them and do that at the end. So, let's just go and do a lot of damage. These guys would have to come up this way to get an angle. And whatever. We'll, we'll just move up so the next turn I can shoot. So I'll just come up onto this objective, secure it. These guys are going to data intercept this okay. turn. They're going to just move to the side, get out of the way. 
that intercept them. And the laser cannon dudes, they'll never be able to shoot the dreadnought. And I'd have to spend the strat to shoot at these guys. It's not really that efficient, but I could charge and just tie them up if I move normally. Yeah, you can so do that. 10 inches. Because he's going to obsec the objective anyway. It's a really long charge. Um, hmm. You have a storm shield or anything in these units? Combat shields. Combat shields. Yep, because the sergeant can just take one in addition to the shotgun, and it, it makes a big difference in their saves. All right, we'll go ahead and auto advance them six, not even go for the charge, just the 16 inches. And you can shoot as normal, correct? Yep. Cool. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy is going to just come up. What? It is cool. It's a cool thing. <laughs> These guys are going to walk up and just touch here. Uh, there's no reason for that. They'll just stay back. Sit on the objective. Control it. Uh, these guys, they get plus three inch. Oh, I have plus three inch move, so actually I can move a little farther. I'll just come over here. That's fine. These guys have 9-inch moves, so they're going to get on this objective. Mm -hmm. And this is the unit that's going to get the defensive buffs. So they're going to get Ignore, AP 1 and 2, Transhuman, and they're going to get uh, Count as in Cover. Okay. And they, this unit will be the one to ignore the penalty. Oh, for falling back? Yep. Yeah. Well, it ignores any hit, ballistic kill and hit modifiers. Oh, okay. As it should be. So Manipulus will come up, Manipulus will come up, and then this guy will advance. The Marshal is just going to come all the way up. That guy will stay back there. Um, I am going to use the Lucius Relic now to pull them out and teleport them with the Solar Flare. Uh, yeah, that could hurt. <laughs> that could hurt real bad. So they are going to come into your backfields. Yep, yep and light up this stuff. So this is now an 18 man unit, I believe, because you killed two? Yeah, I killed like two. Four. So ignoring everything and you're just gonna light me up? Pretty much. Yep. And if you could grab that Manipulus who was right next to them. Oh, and he's teleporting too? He has to, yeah. It's just like the Necron Veil of, uh, of Darkness. Boop. Firing line set. So they're gonna come back there and then the Taraxi will hopefully be able to get back there too. And hopefully I can just take down the Dreadnought and just finish off that. So, cool. They're all good. And uh, I think that is just bringing the Traxi in. So here they come. They're going to come in your backfield as well. Yep. And they're going to just come on this side. Yeah, once I had once I had that turn, I was like, I know exactly what's going to happen the rest <laughs> of this game. <laughs> this is brutal. Yeah, you no, if I blew up all your Iron Striders, yeah. I'd feel really good about this I game. I expected you to kill at least one squad, one full squad, and maybe... I, sh I should have killed probably two three-mans out of that. I don't know about that. That's ambitious. Not the, like that the, ambitious. The, the, D6, the, the D6 shots is very It should slim. be 12, uh, 12 saves from each Dreadnought, which should be four mortals and 12 saves. And then out of the 12 saves, you should fail six, which should kill two, and then you take four mortals on top of that. Yep. Spike up or down, I can kill a whole three-man squad with one with each guy. In the case of guy. you getting a lot of mortals, which you haven't done, I'd pop the one CP4 up. Sure, no pain. sure. But even so, I'm killing two straight up just with failed saves, and then I slow mortals on top of that. And that's each Dreadnought. Yeah. So that should they, be four. And their then, mortals have really swung down this game. They've swung horribly down, but that's not like the most important. It's the it's how many wounds and how many saves you fail. These guys are going to shoot at the single biker. And then I mean, big boy with a reroll on save with reroll number number of shots, rerolling to wound, rerolling to hit. Like he should pick up one or two, and it just no uh, just one, didn't that one reroll to hit. This is into that bike. Mm -hmm. One mortal kills him. Yep. All right, and then the iron striders over there into one squad. They have six shots. One reroll hit. Two's miss. And then twos. Four saves on a squad of Death Watch men. One. Yep, AP3. So three die. And uh, we'll go with the Traxi first into the Dreadnought. Yep. Eight, nine auto, 96. Oh my god, look at that number of shots. 24, <laughs> 30. 
42, 48, 12. That might kill it just, 16, by, just by itself. 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 42. All right, here we go. Can you help me with this, Jack? Can I get your help? You're, help, you're making me help you beat me. Beat me to death. Here we go. Boom! Five. Not even like beat me, just like literally like right to grab death. a big stick and hit me with it over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> this is Admech. That was not a six. Okay. Okay. Just these, that was All not a right, six. Alright, let me take my four ups. Uh, not bad. I think I'm dead. Five, eight. Oh, they're AP2. Down to, they're five ups. Yeah, I'm dead. How are oh, they? How are they? AP2. The, okay. other, the Rangers are AP2. Well, the Dreadnoughts at one wound. Okay. So we're going to shoot every Ranger. Actually, let's shoot the Manipulus at them first. Yeah, then you get to light up the characters. Six, yep. Six auto hits. Winning on fives. Going to be one in long. He gone. He gone. All right. Dreadnought goes down then. Do I go boom? No. <laughs> Entire Ranger unit is going to pop its shots into what's the stats on this guy? He is a two up right now. Um, so everybody, two up, five up. everybody either is taking a four up. It's a two up five up, yeah. So four okay. ups against all your shots. Oh, he's a two up four up. Sorry, because he's a Iron Halo. Okay. So both, either one will take a, a four yep. up. Um, I think you just go 50 50 and just. 50 50? Just half here, half there. All right, 50 50. We'll go. And 50. then you just charge whatever's left. Okay. 50 50. As Jack insists. Yeah, I, I will not can let this game continue unless you split your shots <laughs> like that. Right. 36 shots into each one. So I'm not popping the strat here because I don't have two CP. Yep. We're going the first half into the Tech Marine. They're ignoring the penalty. I'm you don't reroll anything? No. Oh, yeah, you definitely should have gone all into one. Anyway, too late now. <laughs> so fours. Oh, OK, never mind. Here we go. Which AP2? one is this? This Tech Marine? Tech Marine. He go on, get him out of dead. my sight. Thank you, Jack. Great yeah, advice. No Let's problem. Let's see if I can kill the other one. The God, why aren't Why aren't our playing at Mike? <laughs> Here we go. You're just lucky that this isn't available for ACO. Man, this could have gone so differently. <laughs> like this could have actually gone so differently. And then uh, it could be me with the firepower advantage right now, and it's just not. <laughs> the captain has four. Uh, T four. Yeah, T four. Cool. And he's he also dead. He's also dead. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so, I don't feel the need to keep playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have three squads of Death Watch left, but that's... That's it. That's and they are pinned in one corner. <laughs> they are pinned in the corner. They can do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, I'm good. We, we're done with this. All right, we're done here. Admech is powerful. So yes. why don't we... First, let's just talk about Admech. This army's strong. The this is, is a very really strong, strong shooting Very army. strong. Very strong. This is the first time that I played the Lucius and Mars mix. I was really impressed with the Mars shooting against the Death Guard. The defense into the, with the Lucius into Drukari was also impressive, so I wanted to combine the two concepts, and I felt like starting with 60 Rangers is a good, is a good place to start. Added the Mars Outrider with all the Iron Striders and the speed of the, of the uh, Severus Raiders, and I really like the redundancy of this list. Like, if you want to go and kill the Ranger units, you're not really shooting at Iron Striders you, or yeah, the Severus Raiders. Yeah, you have three units of, of Rangers, you have two big units of Raiders, you have... You have the squad Tarax, it just is annoying all game. And then you just have a whole bunch of Iron Striders that can just shoot you. Yeah, and then in this version, I get the Solar Flare because I have Lucius, and I have that Taraxa unit. So I have two things that are constantly forcing the opponent to screen out. Um, otherwise, they're going to get hit in their backfield and start losing key, key resources. A lot of armies are in that kind of like 14 units yep. total area. And you really start losing a lot of that board presence because you have to hold midfield objectives or try and deny primary points, yep. but also screening your backfield. That gets really hard heading into like turn three and four. Yep. So I so, like that pressure. The rough stalkers also add some pressure. You know what's a fun theory? What? Theory of multiple dimensions. <laughs> let's go travel into an alternate dimension right now where I blew up, let's say I spike slightly high and I kill seven of your, of your Iron Striders. Yeah. On turn two, you're left with one Iron Strider and you blow up one of my dreadnoughts in return with all of your shots and you kind of ignore the bikes that are in front of you. Mm -hmm. I, feel like that's, I feel like that's a pretty good position. I just want to kind of iterate on this game, right? Because we know how it went when my shooting yeah, yeah. phase is well, limp. So the first turn didn't really do anything. You were set up defensively, I set up defensively. I just kind of tagged some objectives. You responded to that, came out, took off those easy banners or easy uh, data intercept control points 
and you set up the two redemptors to go ahead and uh, be available to shoot into my iron striders. Yep. Um, but the uh, following turn, because they set up to try and kill my my uh, my ranger unit, so you expose two of them. But two of them has to bring out a good enough firepower. So I actually just exposed all the Iron Striders. Yep. Went, I killed both of them, which I assume you expected. I expected it. It is certainly possible that you only kill one. It's That's on the table. It's not even unreasonable. But on average, you do kill but one. But because I went for both of the redundancy things, the hit reroll, hit, wound, and damage, and I went for um, the plus one to hit, yeah, I, would I went to... for actual offense to make sure that they died, and they did. I would have to be very Nick-like with those saves. But, but that meant that I didn't have the defense, the plus one yep. saving throw and the cover oh, on them. On response, I anticipated, all right, it's chicken for dinner. We're just going to pick up a whole bunch of these pick chickens. Pick up six of them if there's two six. left. Six. If I, if I spike even slightly high, it's seven, maybe even eight. I didn't even get to Jack, you're not even forcing me to use that one CP for up feel no pain. I know. These mortals. Like, I was waiting for it. You I were waiting for it. I'm you saving were... CP here. And I just, and I did, nothing happened. You did not live up and to it. And at that point, your rangers, if they go all in and they shoot everything, will probably pick up. Because I was, I was making sure to bubble them in so they yep. didn't get good double tap range. We'd probably pick up one Dreadnought. At which point, it's open season on your on Yeah, your I think at that point it's pretty even because I'm confident in my board control and just the volume that I can put out and slowly whittle down your backfield like I did. But you also have still have firepower remaining, so it's going to yep. be like come down to which units end up surviving. Yep, and one of your squads is unbuffed. That one's just going to get picked up really yeah. easily. So. One of this squad's going to get picked up really easily. But it's a whole different game. Who knows? Yeah. What's What you got for us? Questions from our members. Uh, yeah, we have a couple questions from the members. First, shout out to Clown Mode. He did a $3 super chat. So Thanks so much, Clown Mode. I'm going to lump his question in with a question we have from Christian Almagro. Uh, Clown Mode asks, Richard, what armies don't get bad touched by Admech? And Christian asked, when is the moment to think that Admet are a little tuned over tuned? So for the first question, yep. I played against Drukari, and that was um, a super tight game. Uh, Jukari ended up winning um, in the end, but this was before the points nerfs to the Raiders. It was before the points nerfs and so, before Dark Technomancer went before away. And before Dark Technomancer went away. So I think those two changes, reducing the amount of shooting overall, or if their shooting goes to more Dark Lances and stuff, this I, list I don't isn't think, as concerned. I don't think it changes that much, to be honest, because a lot of the time you're ignoring the AP minus one minus two, so liquefiers are kind of bouncing either it way. It just means I can only put one squad out. In That's this case, I can true. actually put more out. On the, so, also, this is the third time we've played this game. Uh, this exact matchup, yep. And this is the only time that it has just run completely away for it with the uh, Admac. Yeah, uh, I think so Jack, you definitely yeah. can play this game with other st with other armies. Yeah. So I, I think overall the Jukari matchup is still pretty tough. Like Jukari is an amazing army Jukari's even so with the nerfs. Good. So because they're so good at the board control aspect as well. Yeah. It's um, not like Jukari was up here, then Admac was up here, and now Jukari down here. It's like Jukari was through the ceiling. Yep. Admech are here, and now Drakari is like here. And then Still in, better than Admech in my opinion. In terms of being overtuned, I think, you know, you saw it. Like, I, you have to really add in speed elements for this Admech list to control the board in the middle um, because you don't have that many units overall. There's not a lot of cheap stuff. I could go down to two Ranger units and then get a bunch of extra stuff, but even then, or, or less Iron Strikers, that just doesn't feel good. I mean, even though I just got beaten on, I don't feel like this army is overtuned. Specifically in the same way that Jukari was. The Taraxi I mean, strat. The Taraxi strat. That is just a broken rules interaction. It needs to be fixed. Like broken in the traditional, it doesn't work. Yeah. Kind of way. Like it just that's that can't be how it was intended. But, but I think otherwise the army I think is fine. This, I think this is like if this was the baseline for eighth edition codexes, everybody would be in a great spot. Um, but unfortunately, the codexes that have come before, I think Admech is just better than them. Yeah. I think Admech is. I do think an advantage some there. armies are just not going to be able to complete, compete I with think that, elite right? armies, especially ones that suffer from the last cannon upgrades, uh, their damage profile upgrade, and then mortal wounds, is going to struggle. If this army this. here that you're playing loses to Death Guard, I want to know how it's done, because yeah. I don't think it's possible. <laughs> yeah, so I think that like Necrons are going to struggle mightily. Yeah, AP2. Necrons are going to have a real problem. What do uh, we got? Other questions. All right, we got one last question from member Lyle Dixon. He wants to know, how do you think people need to build lists to fight both Admech and Drukari? What are some commonalities between those two armies that people are going to need to prepare for? Well, the main issue is that AP-1 and minus 2 is really bad in Admech, and it's really good in Dark Eldar. So that is kind of the balance you have to strike. Like, my list has a ton of AP-1 because Dark Eldar takes their raiders like it, up, yeah. to, up to fives. It takes all their troops to their invulns. Like, past that is kind of wasteful. So this is a list that I'm playing into Dark Eldar meta, not Admech meta, because ACO does not have new Admech. 
thankfully. <laughs> uh, it has old AdMech, which this list will stomp on. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that is something you need to weave in. Um, trying to get some AP3 in combat would be a good thing. Like Just AP3 in general. AP3 in general is really good. So things like Scions with their, you know, with Absolutely. The, the buffer plus one AP, like that's that's a great place to do. Volume of fire AP3, blast weapons are also very powerful Absolutely. against these 20 man ranger breaks. Vanguard veterans with AP3 lightning claws, chop, 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 re chop, chop. Re yeah, re wounds. wounds is still very important, especially if they're going for the Lucy uh, variant. Ways to ignore mortals or mitigate them is also very powerful. That's pretty big because uh, um, Admech puts out a lot of mortals. And redundancy in shooting. Armies that have shooting all over the place can play the little the trading game against Admech. They can stick out one or two dreads, do some damage, respond with the Iron Striders, and then you have a little trading yeah, basically game. Basically the That's game plan I went for, for yeah. but you just have to accept sometimes, sometimes you just... It just doesn't happen. Yeah, sometimes the trade you do trade down, and that's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean that's the thing about the trade wars. If they put their whole army on the line and shoot a small element of your army, and then you move the rest of your army out and you shoot their whole army, and you're banking on those dice. Yep. Like average, you might do a lot of damage, but if it doesn't go your way, man, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. So, appreciate that question. Any other questions, Charlie? Nope. Looks like we're good for the day. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Coming up at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, we have a War Room game, a very special, eight, another Atlantic City Open uh, testing. So that is going to be Nick Nanavali playing his Drukari list with the Kronos into John Lennon playing Sean Naden's Aldari list. Ooh, it should be interesting. So, taking two of the top lists that are going to be at ACO, putting them head to head, and talking about all the questions, how the matchup works, um, how to beat both of those lists overall, especially if you're going and taking other lists, that might be very helpful. So that is coming up in the Worm at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you want to check out what the Worm is all about, it's a major international community um, all about competitive 40K knowledge and discussion. And Charlie is going to send you off to a promo video that we did for the War Room. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank and you. And we will see you next time. Next time. Dive even deeper into competitive 40K and become a member of the world's most knowledgeable and positive community. The War Room is an exclusive group that brings together the world's best 40K players as coaches to help anyone from a newer player to an experienced tournament veteran learn, grow, and reach their goals within our shared hobby. Each week we offer a variety of live stream coaching matches centered around illuminating the thought process and in-game decision making of top players. We explain everything we're doing and why. You'll learn about the ever-evolving meta, match play mission theory, list making, and discussion of every faction in the game, and have access to analysis of all the latest rules. Our team of highly experienced coaches teach weekly clinics on each individual faction, strategy sessions on deployment and cool tricks, and meta analyses each week during Meta Monday. We are committed to not only providing the best knowledge for players available, but also building a one-of-a-kind community. Come be a part of the War Room.